In this video, we will be introducing the ideas of multicast, lookups, and union all. So in this particular example, we'll be looking at the conference column that we've worked with before, and we were going to split it up between East and West conferences. So first step, let's bring in the multicast component onto the canvas and connect it to derived column. This means that the output of derived column will pass into the multicast component, and then we will bring in two other lookup components that will be receiving that output. So when we connect it to multicast, both of these components will receive the same data from that component. Now if we open up the editor and take a look at connection, we can either select from a table or write some custom SQL. In our case, we'll, we will be writing custom SQL, but we'll still be selecting from that table. So we'll say select all from the conference alignment table. And in the where clause, we will say where conference equals east. So in this lookup, the only result will be eastern conference cities. So we see here city conference is what that table returns. Now in the columns section, we can select the mapping. So we will say that the input from the multicast where city equals city of the lookup for our eastern conferences return the conference column. So where city equals city, return conference. In this case, it should only be east for this component. Select OK. Now let's rename it just to give it something a little bit more meaningful. Uh, we'll call it Lookup Eastern Conference. And we are now going to repeat the same process for the Western Conference for this other lookup. We'll give it a name, and now I'll top in here and change the connection. We will be using that same custom SQL, but in this case, instead of east, we'll say where conference equals west. So now we have two lookups, each returning two different values or two different result sets. So same steps, let's look at columns. We'll map the city from that multicast to the city of this lookup and return the conference column. In this case, it should only return west. So the next step is we want to bring this data back together so that it can be joined back together as one and all inserted into our table in the final step. So we bring in the union all component, select the outputs of these lookups as the data coming in, and then connect that component to the final insert step. So a quick recap here, we have our data coming through it goes through the multicast, which sends it out in two different places, the same result set, into those lookups, union back together, and then insert it into our table. So let's enable a data viewer. And one thing to point out is that the default handling of no matches is to fail the entire component. And a failure means the whole package will fail. So what we are going to do is change it to um, ignore failure so that you know it just allows those to come through and the whole package won't fail. So let's save and now let's execute this package to see what happens. So it comes through and what we actually notice here is it's doubling up the results. We see these null values coming through for the conferences and that's because we just selected ignore failure. So it's seeing this doesn't match and we said bring it through anyway. So we're actually going to go back in here and change this to redirect rows with no match output. And what that means is that it's going to look if it doesn't match, instead of failing or ignoring, it's going to look for another place to put it. In our case, we're not giving it another place to go, so it's just going to essentially ignore it. And if we run this again, we see that this is acting now that how we want. There are no uh, duplicates here. It's just the east and the west appropriately mapped to each team and city. Now let's refresh our table. And we actually see that the conference is null, which means that there is no data being passed into that column from our insert. We need to update these mappings. So let's take a look. And sure enough, this is set to ignore from before. So we now update this. We can remove the data viewer and retry. So now let's confirm that it came through. And there it is. So all the data correctly mapped and was passed through to the final step. The last note I want to make is about that redirect rows with no matches. 
it's that other blue arrow coming from that component. So you could put it to something like a row count or you know, maybe some other form of transformation just to do something with the ones that don't match rather than just basically ignore them. Uh, but that's up to you as a developer. But thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.